Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, I'll be showing you Dumpad, which is pretty much just a notepad in a web GUI that you can go to to just put your notes and access it whenever you'd like. Um, so there really isn't honestly too much to show here um, because it's a very simple just notepad. As you can see, you can type in text. There really isn't anything like too fancy. You can add, you know, what should I type next? You know, things like that. Um, the uh, the biggest features here that you can see here is you can, um, in this case, you can rename the current notepad from default notepad. You can add multiple notepads. So if you're wanting more than just like one notepad, because that is actually a good feature to have more than one notepad because you're not going to just have all your notes in one notepad, right? Um, you can switch between that um, as well as you can download, um, which will download as a TXT. And then you essentially have a TXT of that notepad if you want to save it locally. But you can also refresh the page as many times as you want. Um, it auto saves essentially, and you can essentially go to it whenever you need to. Um, and that's pretty much it for how to use it. Um, if you're wanting to set this up, what you can do is go to their GitHub. So dumbware.io uh, slash dumbpad is what their GitHub is in regards to this and they will have essentially a quick start guide with Docker, which was what I would recommend to use. So we'll use the Docker with the pin protection, but if you don't want to, you can remove it without the pin um, parameter in there, but we will do it in here. So we'll copy this essentially. And then on our server, which we have Docker installed as well as Nginx with our sets. And if you're interested on how that is all set up, go check on my automation playlist in the uh, description. Um, but what we'll do is create a essentially script that we will run it with so that we can essentially reference it if we ever need to. Um, but I will add one extra thing. So I will actually add the hyphen D for detached mode so that it runs in the background and not in the terminal session itself. And then what we can do is make it executable. So we'll ch mod plus X and you got to type it in right. Otherwise it won't work. And then we will start it. Um, so after starting it, um, we will notice that it is running on port 3000. So um, if you're not, if you don't have certs with HTTPS set up, what you can do is HTTP dumbpad2 dragon.local on port 3000 like this in the browser, and then you'll get it. And because I did it with the pin, I will enter the pin, but I'll just go to HTTPS um, real quick. So dumbpad2 dragon.local. Um, so then it gives me the same page, enter the pin, and I have successfully got to my notepad essentially. So I can start typing in here uh, my notes and you can just add your notes here pretty easily and simply. So um, this is great if you're especially using multiple different devices, whether it's multiple laptops, an iPad, or like a mobile device, and you want to keep all your notes in one place, it is pretty nice to be able to just access it via web page and write your notes. So that's pretty much it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.